Hello. Uh, my name is Han Dong, and uh, uh, I'll talk about our work. It's called the Semantically Guided Visual Question Answering. It's a joint work with Chen Fu, Danny, and Yun Fu. I'm from Northeastern University. Okay, so uh, actually, the, the first paper of this section is also about the visual question answering. And uh, uh, so the setting is different from the traditional text based QA and takes the image as the input plus uh, uh, natural, language question, uh, natural language questions. And so, uh, since this is a quite pretty new topic, and uh, most recent works, they focus on the reasoning part, for example, the previous talks, and they focus on the attention model. So, however, our paper actually is vertical to these strategies or to vertical to these methods. Uh, we try to tackle or try to improve the models in two directions. Uh, the first direction is, um, uh, recent works actually, they, they take off the shell feature extractor networks and uh, language feature, language language networks for text feature extraction. So for the image part, uh, the widely used are ResNet, VGG16, or, uh, or Plus, and so on. However, these networks, they only focus on the object detection, or if, it, if you know, they train within a strong bounding box, which is only bo box the, the, the noun, the object. However, as the freeform question, it can be any kinds of questions. For example, the second question, for this, for this image, we can ask what is the kit writing? And here the tension or the keywords probably is the writing. And uh, uh, in this case, actually, you, you need to know where the a verb uh, locates. So, uh, we, so our first motivation is we try to go beyond object detection and do attributes detection. So we do verb, we do attributes like adjective, color, numbers, like this. So try to resolve this problem, and actually we leverage the previous methods called uh, from NIPS, uh, NIPS 05, and uh, using the weekly supervised, weekly supervised learning methods called multiple instance learning to uh, do attributes, attributes uh, detection. And the second contribution or motivation is uh, most people actually try to form the, the the QA problem as the classification problem. Uh, it's okay, but it's not perfect at all. Uh, here we show an example. Say this is only three class, uh, three class classification problem. And the ground truth can be bus, for example. And if one QA system, they give the prediction, which is the car, the second QA system, they pr produce the results as the horse. Uh, obviously, car is closer to bus instead of uh, but a horse is closer to bus. So such, uh, I call it semantically relatedness, uh, is not obviously it's not considered in the cross entropy laws. So we try to balance two terms, not just considering the classification laws, but also consider or try to embed the semantic laws. And it's pretty straightforward. So we add another term called a weighted average vector loss and also has a balancing parameters. And we realize, uh, this is the result, uh, try to realize the benefits about incorporating the multiple instance learning strategy, attributes detection, uh, attributes detection part. Uh, the keywords here we, we highlight in the, uh, in the red font. You can see the running, which is a verb, and we have a better attention score. Uh, we produce the probability, and the higher score means a higher attention. And, uh, and in the image, of course, we uh, we not just attend to the uh, to the people, but also to the dog. And the ground truth for this case is dog. And we quant we quantitatively test our methods on Coco QA and also VQA to dataset. And we prefer actually Coco QA because Coco QA they divided the the testing or the question set into four groups which is not just the object, but also number of color, which we prefer. And from the top five results, we see um, uh, very competitive results. And also the QA, uh, VQA DSS. So if you, if you are interested, please uh, come to my poster, which is 